A lot of Norwegians, myself included, love when Norway gets mentioned in media from other countries. This is not exclusive to Norwegians, of course. I'm sure that if you're from Adelaide, Australia, for instance, you just got a tiny little kick out of me mentioning it right now. For me, it's because I have an inherent pride in Norwegian culture. My wish to share this with people from other countries is not the only reason for this channel, but it is a major one. There used to be a time when references to Norway in American and British media were incredibly uncommon, and we were mostly overlooked for our brothers and sisters in Sweden. One Swedish made penis enlarger pump. I remember some of the earliest times I ever saw Norway referenced outside of Norwegian media were in reruns of Monty Python's Flying Circus, most notably Remarkable bird the Norwegian blue, beautiful plumage innit? And In a Norwegian Jarlsberger I later loved that Slarty Bartfast won an award for designing Norway's fjords and this Norwegian detective trio from Pushing Daisies. Other than that, references to my country were pretty few and far apart. But then in 2013, Disney released an entire animated movie set in a fictional kingdom very closely inspired by Norway. The name of that kingdom, Arendelle, is taken from the Norwegian town of Arendal, while the scenery is based on Nærøyfjorden, and the city and the fashions seen in the movie are based on traditional Norwegian architecture and style. After Frozen, in combination with growing interest in Vikings and Norse mythology, I've seen Norway start getting mentioned far more often than it used to. And then in 2015, the Norwegian government also started offering 25% returns on production costs for productions produced partly or entirely in Norway, after seeing the positive effects Frozen's popularity had on the Norwegian tourism industry. That, combined with all the free publicity that can be generated in the Norwegian media by simply mentioning Norway, has resulted in Norway being almost overrepresented now. Since 2015, films in the James Bond, MCU and Mission Impossible series have been at least partially set in Norway, as well as other one-off movies like Tenant and The Snowman. But the Norwegian connection often feels superficial in these movies. Sure, the directors make great use of the Norwegian scenery, but I seldom get the feeling that these films are set in Norway because the filmmakers have any great interest or love for the country. But when you pay people to spend time with you, you can't really expect that interaction to be anything more than superficial. But Jesus Christ Marvel, you were in Norway. How hard can it be to get an actual Norwegian to read the only Norwegian line of dialogue in all of Black Widow? Sure, I'll give X-Files a pass for for this. Because it was 1995 and they were filming in America. So come on. And if you're going to reference any location in a story set during one of the two world wars, maybe do a little bit of research before you have a character say something like Nazis were in Norway? Yes, it's 1943. Nazis have been occupying the entire country for three years now. Close. Hydra. Yes, actually, Peggy, they were. But yeah, anyway, if you'd like to get a deeper look at some weird and cool aspects of Norwegian culture, have a look at my other videos on this channel. And I've got a list filled with relatively obscure topics that I can cover in the future, as well as covering some more mainstream stuff. So consider subscribing if you want to stick around for that. So, tack för att du så på, och ha en flott dag vidare. Bye!